Welcome back to Zuria Networks, your favorite channel. My name is Ukeme, and what we do here, it's everything solar, everything renewable, and, you know, we review, we have fun, and we lecture, so tutorial videos, everything all in one. So today, what do we have here? The Daya Energy Storage System, it's actually a lithium battery. The product and model number is RW 5.3 kilowatt hour lithium battery. And uh, this is how it comes. So I will quickly open. So we'll do a quick unboxing. We'll open and a bit of review. You know, my unboxing is always with a review so that at least you have an idea so that tomorrow if you want to pick up this product, you know what exactly you are going for. And definitely as usual, the data sheet will be flashed on the screen and at the end of this video. Stay tuned and watch and know why you should actually go for this battery. Let me know your feedback about this battery on the comment section. So without wasting much of your time, let's go into this carton and as we always do, let's have fun. So yes, this is the inside of the box of this wonderful battery. And like I said, let's start from here. So I take out this, of we go, these two, of we go, and uh, let me check for any other pack. Nothing here. Okay, there are packs here. So, This is what your battery looks like, but I'll be taking out all those accessories one after the other so you can get to know exactly what comes with this box. So this, wow, what a big <laughs> nylon. I like busting this guy. I know you like busting it too. So it contains a earthing cable. This is to earth your battery. It's, it's hard to cut. So earthing cable just to make sure you add your battery mounting screws this battery is wall mounts and this like i reviewed in the other battery if you're keeping the battery on the floor you can actually fasten it to the wall so the battery doesn't tilt so you can see this i'll throw it and uh, the user manual i like tearing this part i just like taking out this nylon actually so you can see, and I like the design. Now the strip lights that tells you the state of charge is this one. Remember the other battery on this channel review was a vertical one. So they, they are coming up with, uh, you know, different beautiful designs. So this is the user manual. I'll trade the other way. And uh, what do we have here? Wow, well, the mounting, this is, you fasten this to the back of the battery. I'll show you how this is done so you can get a perfect mount. So I'll keep this one here. It's heavy, so I don't I don't need to throw it. And yeah, this is. So we have the positive and the negative uh, battery cable, DC cable. So you connect this to the inverter. You connect this to your breaker or your battery combiner box. But yeah, it comes with the battery. So this is it. All the way from there, we'll throw it down here. And this is dry contact, if you want to do, use the dry contact. And this is RJ45 communication cable for the battery. So now that all the accessories are out, this is the battery. This is what it looks like. And they are uh, wonderful. So let's take out this battery from this carton. You know, my unboxing doesn't finish if I don't show you around the products and open where we need to open and show you all the connecting parts. So let's do that by taking this battery out of this carton first. So this is what out of the box looks like. So this is uh, our person of interest, the battery itself. So this is the front. On the front, all you have here is the day name, the brand name, and LED strip that indicates the state of charge of this battery. So definitely I'll turn it on so you see what it looks like. So to my left, nothing much. It's quite plain. It's only handles to help you carry this battery, assist you in mounting, make, makes mounting very easy for you and probably to move it to uh, a nearby place. Then let's turn. So on the right side, you have the name plate where you have all the parameters for this battery. 125 
arms uh, DC breaker, battery DC breaker. It's IP67, so this casing, yeah, it can withstand water and dust. So this can be outside. So you now have a power on and power, power off uh, button. That is all on the right side. I'll turn this battery up and everything you need to know. So let's turn the back. This is what the back looks like. And this is the hanger that was at the bottom of the carton. Let me open it so you can see. And I'll just show you briefly how to mount this to the wall. You know, our review doesn't end if we don't show you exactly what and how to do this. So this is the hanger. You fasten this to the wall, but make sure your wall is strong because this battery is 45 kg. That's the, 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 the actual weight of this battery. So make sure you have a strong wall. So these on your wall and these are the mounting accessories for the battery. So you fasten one here, you fasten the second one down here. And since this is here and this is on the wall, so that's how you hang it. So if you're about to install it, you definitely know how to go about it. So this came with the battery as well. So I'll just keep it here. But the unique thing is that on top of this battery is where everything happens. The beautiful thing here is all the connections to this battery is on top. So all the terminals I need to open here. This is it. This is what the top of the battery looks like. So you can see it contains your positive terminals, terminal, your negative terminal. Now the USB port, PCS port. This is communication. If you're using this battery as a primary battery or the only battery, you connect your communication cable from the BMS port if you're using a day inverter down here. So this out is to take from this battery to communicate with another battery and you have your dry contact. So this is basically what is here in this battery. After you're done with your connection here, you put back the cover and you're ready to go. Let's turn this battery on and you see the LED strip. I normally like the, the light in the, in the front. So let's turn it on and see what it looks like. So about to turn on this battery, first thing you open here, you turn on. Yes, now that this is turned on, you cover it back. You lock this, it's IP67. Like I said, you turn it front. So remember, there's a power button here. So see what happens to the battery when I turn on the power button. Very important. So let's go. You see? So the battery is doing post tests and you can see green, lovely LED lights. It can, uh, it's not calibrated, so you may not actually know exactly the percentage, but this light will give you just a guide. So like I can estimate it's here. So probably this battery is a 70, 75% state of charge. So this is what it looks like. And this light adds to the beauty of this battery. So this is your Daya RW 5.3 lithium battery. It's 5.3 kilowatt hour. So if you have this battery, if you like this battery, pick it up and let me share your experience on the comment section. And definitely let us know what you think about this wonderful design. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this page. So we'll see you on our next video. You know what we do? Everything solar, everything renewable. And this is the channel for you to keep in touch. Bye.